Generally, an agreement by a corporate director to resign from his or her position for money is against public policy and illegal. In the 1962 case Essex Universal v. Yates, the Second Circuit considered whether an agreement by a director to resign in conjunction with the sale of stock was valid when the purchaser would become the majority shareholder of the corporation. Herbert Yates was the president and chairman of the board of directors of Republic Pictures, a motion picture company that produced many classic Western movies starring John Wayne. At the same time, Essex Universal became interested in purchasing shares of stock in Republic. In 1957, Yates and Essex entered into a contract where Yates agreed to sell between 500,000 and 600,000 shares of Republic stock to Essex. The amount of stock constituted roughly 28% of Republic's outstanding shares and would transfer control of Republic to Essex. In addition, the contract required the majority of Republic's board of directors to resign from their positions so that Essex could elect its own board. This was to be accomplished by having eight of Republic's 14 directors resign one by one and having each director replaced by an Essex nominee. One-third of Republic's directors were elected at each annual board meeting, so absent the agreement, Essex wouldn't obtain control until about 18 months after the sale. At closing, Yates rejected Essex's checks because they were made payable to Essex's banker, not Yates. Subsequently, Essex sued Yates in New York Supreme Court for breach of contract. The case was removed to federal district court based on diversity of citizenship. Yates moved for summary judgment claiming that the contract was against public policy and illegal because it required a majority of Republic's directors to resign. The district court agreed and granted summary judgment for Yates. Essex appealed to the Second Circuit. 